Yo, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? Anthony's Gaming Show. Hope you guys are excited for some more fun. Digimon Seekers reading for chapter 1-9. Just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much, you guys. We have hit 98 subscribers, trying to hit a goal of 100 to start. We have been growing tremendously. Just wanted to say thank you. We have so much more to look forward to on the channel, such as a Digimon BE opening. We have our Digimon colors to be opening, as well as Digimon TGC matches as our box openings for the booster boxes of BT12. So please do make sure you guys have subscribed, hit the bell for notifications so you know when more videos get posted. And let's go ahead and get started into our reading for this week's chapter. 1-9 reading. EG is asked by Professor Rujin to investigate the Sons of Chaos, a group of militant code crackers. He is to join the SOC as a code cracker. He is asked to make contact with the leader Tauros and find out about the purpose of the group. SOC is a martial art organization that is said to be the worst and strongest of all code cracking teams. There are signs that they are planning a large scale operation in the near future. Intelligent agencies and police force from all over the world are involved. But Rujin is not all concerned about the Digi world so they hired their own code crackers to investigate to protect the digital world and Digimon and the result is unbeatable but if Rujin's passion that moves EG heart more than anything else it is the activities of the SOC and Tartarus who caused the international community to view not only code crackers but also the digital world as dangerous and Digimon as the enemy the ecology of the Egypt of the digital world ie the lives of Digimon will be at stake in the past wolves were eradicated in Europe the US and Japan simply because they tried to scare livestock. We must avoid reproducing such a tragedy in the digital world. Digimon are alive. E.g. is greatly influenced by Rujin's opinions. So what you're saying is that I'll be a spy? E.G. speaks. His room is extremely cramped. At the foot of the futon in the loft, a puffy lamp is laying at the back with its belly showing. The holization of Logamon, the room, is rented and pets are not allowed, but this does not apply to digital pets. All right, Logamon, we're going to infiltrate SOC. We're going to find out who Tartaros really is. Don't let your guard down. He speaks to the Digimon. He never talked to a Digimon before. Logamon turns over and cocks his head like a dog. There are many opinions about how well Digimon understand human language, but we'll be dealing with SOC. They are hardcore code crackers. Really scary guys. They'll take my Tyrannomon for fools. You, on the other hand are as rare as find even if you still are growing. EG's name is Cracker Fang and he's going to sell it. That's a good place to start. He stretches out his hands. He strokes the Logomon's forehead. Of course he can't actually touch it but the Logomon growls and garnishes teeth away. Oh sorry. I once had a dog that got cranky when I pet it. It was a dog that was friendly to his parents but for some reason he was only behaved that way towards EG. The alarm goes off. It's time to go to work. Let's go Logomon. The holization disappears. Logomon returns to the Digimon linker screen with the voice chat intercom over over his ear. EG leans against the loaf's wall and opens the Digimon Linker's menu. A virtual monitor was projected on the heads up screen. This is another application of the holization technology. The virtual monitor connects to the network and moves to Grimm. Participation in the SOC itself is not difficult. Once you have obtained an invitation code from Grimm's member recruitment page, you can join the SOC's directed channel as if it was a part-time job. EG applied to SOC in advance and secured an appointment. SOC deals with government agencies, the military, police, and global corporations. The level of code crapper skills necessary is quite high to say the least, and more importantly, it's risky. A senior member of SOC was available to assist EG's via voice chat and online interview. It's easy to apply, but if you don't have the skills to be a code cracker, you won't get in. So do you have what it takes, newbie? The name's Fang. Code cracker Fang, huh? Are you willing to put your real life on the line to be a part of SOC? The only username on the other end is interviewer. The icon on Grimm looks like a Tempest show or era a salary man with a necktie, like a section chief or something. The voice that of a kindly old man. Hmm, if my skill are up to par, would I be able to meet Tartarus? EG gets right down to business. Code crackers are generally frank with each other on the internet. You're interested in our leader? The interview voice is tingled with a hint of caution. Who wouldn't be? He's a legendary code cracker. Ha ha ha. You're really young, aren't you? Are you in high school or junior high school even? The interviewer laughs. Well, how old are you? It doesn't matter if I tell you I'm 60 or 17 because there's no way to prove it. Here we simply sound and look like we want others to believe we are. It's a characteristic of a certain spicy generation of old men to assist on their own high level internet literacy, isn't it? EG thinks he's onto something. Perhaps the interviewer is actually an old man after all. Oh, please continue. 
There's a brief pause. Our leader Tartarus is a mystery. Most of us have never even heard his voice. A mystery, huh? So that's how it is. If you are a genius cracker that you think you are and you have good track record, one of the executives will get in touch with you even if you don't inquire further. If you can get into the chat room, you might even be able to talk to Tartarus. It looks like this is gonna take a while. I know how to get close to the leader Tartaros. I'll participate in SOC's activities and make a name for myself. This is clearly a monocracy. So the job about I'm about to take is the SOC employment exam? That's one way to look at it. For your reference, the difficulty level is equivalent to a semi-A level. I've shared the file on Grimm. I've also opened a direct dictated channel for the mission. A summary of the mission is displayed on the virtual monitor. The name of the mission can be anything. A wolf at the back gate. Need you request his preferred name. Why that? It's just the first thing that came to mind. There's no real meaning behind it. It's just that it's my wolf, my Logomon's first battle. EG had made his mind up to be a code cracker and there's no turning back now. A wolf at the back gate, huh? Got it. That's kind of long. So we'll just make it Operation Wolf. Too short. You're probably thinking, do I really want to try semi-A? I'm nine out of 10 cases. You'll lose your precious Digimon. Needless to say, we cannot insure them or provide compensation for their loss. Understood. I'm prepared for a proper welcoming party. Welcoming party? What do you mean? We're celebrating the birth of new SOC executives. Big words. But it's not a foolhardy move on his part. EG has something special in store for them. In order to infiltrate the SOC, he has to deactivate the functions on his Digimon linker. Ryuji provided with him the means to improvise his skills as a code cracker in one fell swoop for this request. The result of the D4's research. The very thing to take on the yoke. I'll see it. I'll see the world the way that the best see it. The Digimon linker and Logomon that Professor Rujin had given me will make the impossible possible. He takes a deep breath. Please check the file for the details of the operation. I'm praying for your success. Thank you very much. Eiji looks at the Digimon linker screen. His Logomon is looking back at him from the small screen. Silence. Digimon are alive. I bet you know what Professor Rujin meant when he said that. He selects a menu. Mind link. The sensor measures biometric data and allows commands after vital checks. Limit release. Its consciousness will be unleashed in the form of light. Well then, mind link. I think that was a really good chapter, you guys. Things are really starting to pick up in the story. We now know the objective is that Professor Lusion wants EG to infiltrate the SOC and learn more about what their plan is to make sure that they don't use Digimon for evil means anymore. So this part, he's pretty much going into it. He went on to the Grim and put out an application saying, hey, I want to join the team and was able to contact someone and was able to do like an interview saying like, hey, this is what I want to do. So that was pretty cool. You know, he's in his room talking with his Digimon Logomon. He's like, hey, Hey buddy, you know, it's me and you and we're going to take on this challenge together. So that's really cool. You know, he's using his whole wolf aesthetic being called Cracker Fang Operation Wolf. So that's kind of like, I think something to do with the title of the trailer too. Um, So, you know, it's all coming together. Everything is, you'll see that part where the mind link is probably when he's pushing the button going through it. So I'm really excited to see what goes next now that he's actually got joined the team. Like I said, it is now 418 a time of recording this. We were just live over on Twitch. So Make sure you guys check out that link so you can see me over there live streaming Digimon Next World Order. We're playing Digimon Survive and we're also playing Digimon TCG. We're me playing different tournaments online, streaming that. So check me out over there. And there's a lot of real cool stuff Digimon coming out, you guys. With the Vital Brace of BE2 in the end of the month, we're going to be able to join teams and we're going to join the SOC just like EG. So please make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. So that way you know when we have more videos posted. And if you're watching this far, that means you're really enjoying the channel, you guys. Um, I can see that most people that are watching it are not subscribed so just subscribe that way you can know when i'm coming live you guys comment down below what do you think is going to happen next what is your premonitions for the future this has been anthony's gaming show thank you so much you guys until next time bye bye